Alf is getting on now. So I want you to walk maybe towards Rex. I know, he's black, he blends in. And Stitches here. Good. Junior's here. What's the other one called? Maxie. Maxi. I know, Darwin. You're like, what the heck's going on? Okay, and coming back, walk towards us. Uh, what's your name? Rex. On. Okay, and this time when you come by, I want you to come as close as you like to, to Junior, etc. And because of how Melly is, you probably just need to give a wee leash pop if he's naughty to you. If you look at the difference compared to what he was like, just see how we just kind of we just got it. I know. Look at the difference in her. Look at how much more confident you are. You're like, I don't feel it. You 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 feel it more than better than normal. Try and go near Stitch. He was the big challenge. Just like walk through him. Perfect. Doesn't the slip leash just give you so much more control? Feels so much nicer on it, eh? So what you're doing is because you're leading by the the head. But yeah, he walks. What you're doing is you're really turning them into like this kind of show dog, right? You know, in the show ring, working rather than this working Kerry Blue yeah. that's wanting to catch and kill everything. Mm. You know, hey pal, <laughs> good boy. So that's the thing that I want. So I want you to try and take him to Junior's butt. Just take mm. him in. Stay Junior. Nice. Relaxly. So you've either got to relax and let him do it. Or you've got to snap him out of it. You can't just stand tense because then you're adding the tension. Okay. And what you're doing really is in your head is you're counting the one two because what you're uh, any more than that right now because he's still learning. It's too much temptation for him to then maybe sniff and then go over the top of the dog. Just sniff if you see it sniffing over the top of the dog. That that's not good. You don't want that. He should be sniffing at the back or the side. Right. Or if he's trying to get round near the face of the dog. You don't want that either, okay? He's, he's trying to get, creep back to his habit of using eyes and going, oh, you know, where's your face so we can challenge each other? Yeah. You know? Yeah. But already just so sensitive that... Look at the tail drop. Did you see how much yeah. more? Nice. Good job, buddy. Yes. So already what you're looking for is that that bubble sufficiently bursts, you know, rather than taking from a 10 to an 8. Now, initially, you're not going to take him to zero, but at least if you can get him 10 to a five, and then and then the worst you're getting is a five, then you can bring it down. And I mean, look at him now. Do you know what I mean? Now, just drop that leash. So now he's off leash with the dogs, rather than normally you would never stitch. Yeah. You would never normally do anything like that. Do you know what I mean? Another I'll let you pick it up. Good job, buddy. Come here. So see, because you're willing to give that pop factor, you're actually being less physical with your dog. Because 99% of the time, you're like this. And if needed, you're pop, stop. And then you go back to relaxed again. Oh, so I wish I, I had a dog. I can have him like this. Of course you can. Yeah. But you have to get him like that first. Yeah. Or you're walking like that, everything's awesome, then you see a dog, you need to come back into structure. Right? Back into heel. Hey, calm it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And then and, and keep following them because he needs the, the assistance, the guidance um, on how to meet every time right now. Excuse me, you can't afford to let to go, well see how he goes. No, yeah. every time right now it's going, this is how it's gonna go. Mm. Not we'll see how it goes. Does that make sense? Yeah. Much nicer. I need to get my feet in the right place. Yes, it's, it's all the practice. It's clumsy. 